Happy April, everyone. It's the Nova Parks Roving Naturalist here at Potomac Overlook Regional Park. And I'm gonna take you on a little tour outside the nature center to look for signs of spring. Enjoy. There are lots of birds calling. Right now I'm hearing song sparrow. Morning dove. And Carolina wren. The Carolina wren is the loudest one you can hear right now. Sounding like cheerily, cheerily, cheerily. And there it goes. The little metallic calls you hear would be Northern Cardinal. Also just heard a red-bellied woodpecker. And let's see what's on this tree. I just saw something fly up to it. Might not be able to see it. It's most likely one of the song sparrows. Let's see if I can call it out. There's an eastern towhee in here. It's a sparrow species. And they are often hard to see clearly because they like to be in shrubby areas. We have a Carolina chickadee up here. Um, in the box elder, which you can see with its beautiful catkins, light green catkins. And the catkins are essentially just a fancy word for flower, uh, specifically for certain species of trees. They are basically petalless flowers. Um, and, and you'll notice them because they're long, stringy, and droopy. And you see them in box elder and willow and other species of tree as well. The sound that I was just making to attract the birds is called pishing, and it's, and it's basically an alarm call. It's not something that's good to do for an extended period of time um, because it can agitate the birds, but at least for a second, it can bring out some birds to help you identify them. Over here, you have some beautiful eastern redbud trees that are flowering. One of the standout trees that flower in early spring can see they're not quite at peak bloom yet. They follow closely behind the typical cherry trees that you see blossoming. And um, they are noted for their beautiful pink purple flowers that you can see here. And we see a cardinal straight ahead. Might be a little tough to see. It's carrying some nest material right now. Or, wait, does it look like it ha It may have a worm. Let's see. And the female is right behind it. So I think it did find something foraging around in... Oh, and we have a beautiful male goldfinch on the pine here. Let's see if I can get a little closer. You can see, you can see it's straight in the center of the video here just flew and that was the first American goldfinch that I've seen in total breeding plumage um, so that was a really nice find just now I promise you I did not plant that there <laughs> all right moving on over here we have some periwinkle which is not a native plant and can be invasive um, but in the right conditions the right place it's a nice cover plant um, because the leaves actually stay green year-round, which is really nice in winter when not much else is around. Over here, you can see a flower. I'm gonna zoom in up close. Beautiful. Mixed in with the periwinkles, you see here, this is actually called the spring beauty flower. And it, it is actually an edible flower, um, but if you are gonna eat it, uh, make sure not to remove the entire plant because um, then it, you may kill it, but the flower itself is edible and, and harmless if you pick it from the plant. Um, and right now you can see the flowers are closed because it is pretty overcast right now. Once it gets some direct sunlight, those flowers will open up. Also mixed in with the periwinkle, you have some Christmas fern. And it's called Christmas fern because the little leaves that are unfurling right now actually look kind of like stockings. So that's how it gets its name. And the frond, or 
nicknamed the fizz, fiddlehead because it looks kind of like the head of a string instrument. Um, those are actually edible, um, but you really have to know what you're doing because not all fern fronds are edible. So you'd want to make sure you know what you're looking at uh, and make sure that it is the Christmas fern that you are harvesting. Taking a quick detour here from the periwinkle to show you some of these beautiful yellow flowers that are blooming. This is Celandine poppy, which is a native closely related to some others in the same family in Europe. And it's really nice coming in strong now. And among it, there's a beautiful flower but also a pesky invasive species. This is called garlic mustard. I'm gonna have to remove this, unfortunately, after the video. It completely takes over floodplains, and it's a real menace. A lot of uh, volunteers come and uh, remove species like garlic mustard. What is it that we have here? So, on this fallen stick, we have witch's butter, which is a type of jelly fungus. And it's often found on dead limbs of trees that are still hanging or recently fallen. So this is a perfect little stick for it to grow on. Looks pretty cool. And last, but certainly not least, we have our Virginia bluebells here. And this is the only little patch of them right next to the Nature Center, so it's my favorite little spot in the direct area of the Nature Center because it is a beautiful plant that you only really see for a short time in spring, hence it being a spring ephemeral, which basically just means that it comes up quickly, it reproduces, and then it retreats back into the ground. It is a perennial plant, which means that it will live from year to year, and it grows in big clusters. This is nothing compared to what you can see in the right appropriate habitat. Um, it's a pretty sunny area here, so it's only really growing on this side of the tree here because it gets a decent amount of shade. It gets enough shade for it to grow, but it is not super sun tolerant. So there's not a huge patch of it right here. Just this one little patch, which is awesome though. Um, so in moist woodlands, um, especially really shaded areas, you can see vast fields of this bluebell um, under the shade of the trees, which is really neat. Um, it's called blue, they're called bluebells because they, the end of their flower almost looks like little bells here. They have a trumpeting kind of flower and the most common pollinator for it would be butterflies because they can perch on it while sipping the nectar really pretty stuff. And um, it is called Virginia Bluebell, but it is found throughout Eastern North America. Hey everybody, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please feel free to share with your friends and family. If you're not already doing so, be sure to follow Potomac Overlook Regional Park, Nova Parks, and Nova Parks Roving Naturalist on Facebook and Instagram. Stay tuned for more content.